Alright guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. Friends, welcome to Photography Talk episode 58. Could Nikon be thrown in the towel for two of its popular DSLRs? Rumors indicate that this might be the case and that Nikon may soon ditch the D5600 and the D3500. But this week's headlines are all bad. There's actually some pretty exciting news from Sony as well as Fuji and we're going to discuss that in just a minute. But first, we have some important business to take care of. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes here with me today. I'm absolutely humbled by you, the support that you guys have given me in this channel. I really do appreciate you choosing to spend your time, your valuable time, to watch this video. Now, if you're already subscribed to the channel, man, you kick ass. Thank you very much. If you are not yet subscribed, well, you know what, new friend, I hope to earn your trust by the end of this video that you're going to go down there and hit that little subscribe button. Besides, all well, a couple things you want to do this here. We have a very exciting 2021 editorial calendar in front. On top of that, if that doesn't excite you by itself, we have monthly giveaways. And by being a subscriber, it's just one of the things that you need to do in order to be eligible to win some pretty kick-ass prizes that we have or that we give away each month. Now, let's get on to this week's headlines. All right, let's talk about Nikon. Has Nikon ditched the D3500 and the D5600? Two highly popular Nikon cameras might be at the end of their run. Nikon Japan recently slapped the old product label on the D3500 and the D5600. Now you may recall in the past, this meant that cameras were going to be discontinued. So it stands to reason that it means the same thing for these two cameras. On the other hand, this might be a little surprising because guys, the D5600 was the top selling DSLR in Japan last year and the D3500 is the top entry level DSLR for the company. However, DSLRs don't have as much value as mirrorless cameras since Nikon guys, as you know, isn't in a bit of a sticky financial situation, discontinuing these DSLRs could help them improve the company's profitability and allow them to focus on mirrorless cameras. Speaking of which, perhaps the move discontinuing these cameras means that Nikon is working on a mirrorless replacement for them, like an entry-level APS-C camera to replace the D3500. Now, if these cameras are discontinued, guys, here's something you're going to want to do here. Keep an eye out for killer deals as what's going to happen? Retailers are going to try to blow through their inventory, which means the D5600 and the D3500 could be some pretty sweet deals coming around the corner. Next, Sony's new drone is close to being released. Now, last year, you may recall, Sony revealed a few details about its first drone, which is called AirPeak. But the company recently dropped a few more details about the drone specifically what the thing looks like. In a recently uploaded video, Sony is showing off AirPeak at work for a video shoot of the badass Vision S electric car of theirs. The drone has a boxy body with four props and two legs that fold upward after takeoff. Below is a gimbal where you can see here is a Sony Alpha camera is sitting. Now there seems to be two more cameras as well. One on the bar in the front and another one on the back. Now these could be sensors for obstacle avoidance instead of cameras. Now the drone does look badass if you ask me. The flat black finish gives this thing kind of a really futuristic vibe and the addition of what looks to be carbon fiber on the arms is yeah, nice job, Sony. Now, in announcing the drone, Sony notes that it is ideally suited with use of alpha cameras, but they did not mention how well this thing is going to play with other cameras from different manufacturers. In fact, man, Sony has really not said much about this thing, not even the way. Now, the wait to find out more shouldn't be too long, as Sony is set to release AirPeak this spring. Jumping over to Fuji, Fuji might have a beast of a camera coming soon. Now, in recent years, guys, Fuji has made a name for itself with its affordable medium format cameras. For example, when the GFX 50S was released, its $6,500 price tag was breathtakingly low for a medium format camera, or for a modern medium format camera, rather. Then Fuji introduced the GFX 50R, which had an even lower price tag, and then they gave the GFX 100, which offered... I'm still blown away with this, a 102 megapixel sensor in a medium format camera for less than 10 grand. Now here's the crazy thing, there's new rumors that Fuji will soon announce the GFX 100S, which is likely guys to have the same 102 megapixel medium format back illuminated sensor from the GFX 100. Additionally, rumors indicate that the GFX 100S will be in a smaller body and it's gonna have features like phase detect, autofocus, and in-body image stabilization. True to form, Fuji seems to be 
determined to keep the price low. In fact, some rumors indicate that the price for the GFX 100S could be, you ready for this? under six grand. Now let's call a spade a spade. I don't need to tell you how crazy, absolutely insane that is for a medium format camera with a 102 megapixel sensor. Now, of course, we're gonna keep you guys up to date on any news that we hear about the GFX 100S, but these rumors are true, or if they are true, rather, Fuji fans are gonna have a kick-ass 2021. All right, folks, we're done with the headlines for this week. Let's get to the details of our current giveaway. Here are the prizes that we have up for grabs. A ViewSonic 38-inch VP3881 curved monitor, a Peak Design 30L everyday backpack, a F-Stop Toyota 20 backpack. Now, as always, to enter the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, and the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you registered on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing on by, say hello, we would love to see you. That is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck, friend. Well, there you go. That is it for Photography Talk episode 58. My friend, if you found some value, if you were mildly entertained, if I tickled that interest of yours, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And of course, if you're currently not subscribed to the channel, as I mentioned earlier, we would love to earn that trust of yours. So I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. Hell, while you're at it, smash, kick that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a new video. My friend, I'm gonna go jumping out of here. You get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot. <laughs>